I'm not going to write off this team just yet, especially after what happened with Buffalo. Our fans have been so spoiled for two decades, we don't know how to track actual progress. Did people really believe the Patriots were going to win in Miami? After the Buffalo victory, fans were so encouraged they thought the Pats would just march down to a stadium where historically they've struggled and beat the most high-powered offense in football. I mean, Tom Brady went 2-5 and five, his final seven games down in Miami as a Patriot. And those were against significantly worse teams than the one the Patriots faced on Sunday. I know the team is 2-6, and six, but there has been real progress the last few weeks. Dallas and New Orleans, that was rock bottom for this organization. They still played a little better in Las Vegas, but still not great. Then they beat a very good Buffalo Bills team. In Miami, the Pats were still significantly better than what we saw against Dallas, New Orleans, and Vegas. They jumped out to an early lead. Mac Jones had more time to throw. The running game was, at the very least, existent. They lost to a Super Bowl contender in the October South Florida Heat. They entered as a nine-point underdog and were one defensive stop away from being able to tie it in the final minutes. There is something to build on there. Let's not forget, the Patriots have had by far the toughest strength of schedule in the NFL, but it gets much easier from here. As far as I can see, the Patriots have nine games remaining and seven of those are very winnable. Let's go through them. You have Washington, who just sold off two of their greatest defensive assets in Chase Young and Montez Sweat. Then it's the Colts over in Germany, certainly winnable. A bye week followed by the New York Giants, who currently reside in the NFL basement alongside the Patriots. Then it gets a bit tougher against the LA Chargers. However, they have to travel to Foxborough in December, and Belichick has always had their number. Mac Jones outdueled Justin Herbert two years ago against a team with a much better roster. Then you have the Steelers on Thursday Night Football. They have a ton of issues, particularly on offense. The Denver Broncos on Christmas Eve, a challenging venue, but not a good football team. And you have the New York Jets again at home. That seven games the Patriots will likely enter as favorites or slight underdogs at the very worst. The other two are Buffalo, who they beat, and Kansas City, who lost on the road in Denver last week. So let's not write them off just yet. Is a playoff spot likely? Probably not. But how many times have we seen the Patriots go on a long winning streak with a weaker schedule? It happens all the time. It even happened with Mac Jones in 2021. They won seven in a row. If they get blown out by Washington, then we can talk about giving up.